Hey everyone, Dr. O'Neill here. Welcome to Grow Gray Matter. In this video, I want to help you understand the muscle terminology needed to describe muscles based on their position or their direction. Let's dive right in. I want to start by comparing three directional terms, rectus, transverse, and oblique. Rectus means straight, so think of a muscle running straight up and down. Transverse means crosswise, so think of a muscle running horizontal. And oblique means slanting, so think of a muscle running at an angle. You can find an example of each of these in your core, in your abdomen. The rectus abdominis is the six-pack we all think of, the muscles running straight up and down your abdomen. The transversus abdominis muscle doesn't get much credit, and you can't see it, but it's a very important deep core muscle that helps to stabilize your spine, and it's going to run horizontally. And then we have the internal and external obliques that run at opposite angles. So if you think about it, you're wearing a back brace. You have these strap-like muscles running up and down, side to side, and at varying oblique angles, and they're stabilizing your core. So those are the directional terms rectus for straight, transverse for crosswise, and oblique for a slanting angle. Next, I want to compare superficial to profundus. So superficial, think towards the surface. Now profundus, think about if, something, if someone tells you something that's profound, it's deep. So profundus means deep. So superficial towards the surface, profundus is deep, away from the surface. Key examples here, the flexor digitorum superficialis muscle is closer to the surface and laying on top of the flexor digitorum profundus muscle, which is deeper. Superficial versus deep profundus. Next, I want to compare superior and inferior. So superior means towards the top, inferior means towards the bottom. So I picked a kind of fun example, the superior and inferior gemellus muscles. So gemellus, think Gemini, think twins. So these are, they're, they're named this because they're twins. The superior gemellus muscle is above the inferior gemellus muscle. These muscles are considered lateral rotators of the hip. They're small muscles at the back of the pelvis that help to stabilize your hip and move your hip joint. So superior towards the top, inferior towards the bottom, and gemellus happens to mean twins. Next, I want to compare internal to external. So internal means on the inside, external means on the outside. So the key example here would be your internal and external intercostals. So intercostals means within or between your ribs. So the internal intercostals are on the inside, and when they contract, they squeeze the rib cage together as you exhale. The external intercostals are on the outside, and when they contract, they pull your rib cage apart as you inhale. So internal versus external. Now compare those two terms, internal and external, to the next two, intrinsic versus extrinsic. So intrinsic means within a structure. Extrinsic means outside of the structure. So key examples here would be the intrinsic versus extrinsic muscles of the eye. So the intrinsic eye muscles will be the ones that control the shape of the lens, the diameter of your pupil. The extrinsic eye muscles are outside of the eyeball. They're the one that move the eye as you look different directions. So intrinsic versus extrinsic. You also have intrinsic versus extrinsic tongue muscles. And another good example would be the intrinsic muscles of the hand versus the extrinsic muscles of the hand. So the key difference there is, and the same with the foot, the intrinsic muscles of the hand or foot, they start and end on the hand or the foot. The extrinsic muscles of the hand or foot, they control the hand, for example, but they actually cross the wrist. They come from somewhere else to control the hand. So intrinsic means within a structure, extrinsic outside of a structure. Next, let's compare anterior to posterior. So anterior means towards the front, posterior towards the back. Key example here is the serratus anterior versus the serratus posterior muscles. So serratus means serrated or knife edge. So the serratus anterior is a serrated muscle 
on the front of your body, whereas the serratus posterior is a serrated muscle on the back. Now there's a serratus posterior superior on the top and a serratus posterior inferior on the bottom. So that's anterior versus posterior. Lastly, medial versus lateral. So medial means towards the midline, lateral means away from the midline. Two key examples here would be the vastus medialis muscle and the vastus lateralis muscle. So vastus means great. So these are large muscles in your thigh. They make up two of the four quadriceps muscles. The vastus medialis on the inside again, vastus lateralis on the outside. Okay, so those are the muscle terms that will help you describe muscles based on their position or their direction. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you're now ready to go master your muscles and conquer your anatomy courses. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Learning complex topics is hard. That's why they're called complex topics. But I hope this video showed you that I can help you, that I can lead you down the right path, that we can tackle this topic together, one video at a time, one step at a time, one synapse at a time, until you grow gray matter.